Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert. What we're looking at here is we're looking at uh, a typical Production Expert podcast session. And you'll see, poking in down in the bottom corner here, an instance of uh, Nugent's fantastic uh, VizLM, which I use to monitor the, uh, the loudness specs. I've got that set up. And what I tend to do is I poke it in just down in the corner here, because I'm a single monitor user, and uh, I don't want it taking up valuable screen real estate. Gets the job done, nothing wrong with it at all, but there's a new product out from Process Audio, which I think I'm going to start using instead just because of a particular trick it's got. What we'll do is we'll pop over here. I've got it uh, set up here. It's called Decibel. And here's what it looks like, or here's how it looks for the particular application I'm using it for, just to monitor LUFs for, uh, for loudness measurement for a podcast. But the interesting thing is that I've got it, if we look down here, I've got it working with my iPad. So that means that I can put this away, come back to the edit window, and in my studio, this is what we're looking at. Here's my monitor. And if I just tip down slightly, here's my iPad, and I'm sending the output from Decibel to there if I just hit play. And there we are. There's some real-time stats running on the iPad, and I've got my screen all to myself. So taking a closer look at Decibel itself, um, here's how it works. If we uh, come in here and we just pull up one of these factory presets, let's just pull this one up, let's say, uh, you can see that you've got a uh, resizable interface, which is always a nice thing to have, and you can display various elements here. We've got some peak meters, some VUs, and uh, a pair of uh, spectrum analyzers, but it can be anything you want. All you need to do is just come in here and you can uh, delete or duplicate or whatever it is you want to do, and uh, you can set it up however you want. So, uh, for example, uh, if we clear this out completely, and uh, we'll start from nothing, and uh, I'll just uh, click here. Here's the choices of modules. Target validators are really useful because they give that visual check of whether or not you're hitting your loudness target, which for my workflow is great. But let's start with a face scope, for example. You just place it where you want, and uh, you can resize, and you can set various things up. For example, you can get into the appearance, in that case, if I come in here and I set another one up, let's say let's go for a, a VU meter. This is quite fun, actually, because they've got uh, some different flavors, skin, modern or vintage, or destroyed, which is kind of fun. VU meters are cool, so why not? And uh, various other things. Luff's histogram, so you've got that loudness history, which might be useful to you. Um, a spectrum analyzer, if you're using this in more of a mixing application, but it's the super meter I want to uh, concentrate on here. So what we'll do is we'll just pop this in here. And uh, what you can do is you can set up various calibration elements. Now, here you can set your, uh, as well as the calibration for the VU, on the uh, LUF stuff, you can set up your, your peak, your target, and the tolerance. Really, really useful. So say you were working to uh, a loudness standard for uh, music, for streaming, you're probably going to be talking about minus 14 LUFs. There you are, you can set that up. As you increase the tolerance, you get this very interesting situation where let's set this somewhere unrealistic, 3 dB. And what you get is you get this tolerance showing as a dotted line on here. And if I were to show a LUFS meter, you'd also have that same tolerance showing as these brackets here against your momentary short and integrated. Obviously, you can set all of this stuff up and save it. Um, I don't have anything saved as a user preset, but let's pull up a, a LUFS workflow here. And here I've got a histogram along the bottom. I've got that uh, useful semicircular display here, uh, my uh, peak and LUFS um, target indicators, and my three, uh, my three meters, which are exactly what I'd want for this kind of application. Now where things get interesting is you can set up in managed devices to talk to either, a, an, in my case, an iPad or an iPhone. You can also do with... Uh, Android devices, and you can uh, you can output different tabs to different devices. So if I want to send uh, something else to my iPhone, I can do that, and I just set up what I want, and I send it out to my iPhone, it'll appear on there as well. I'm not going to do that in this case because I really don't need to, but you can, and you can work multiple devices as well as, of course, of, as running uh, in the uh, in the um, plugin window itself if that's what you want to do. But as I said, that's not what really intrigues me about this. There's loads and loads to look at in this. So, uh, so get yourself a demo and check it out. I think it's great. And uh, because of this being able to 
easily and from the plugin itself. I know there are other ways of, of achieving this, particularly for on a Mac, but here it's built in to the plugin itself. And if you want to run off a device and have a separate screen and save your, uh, your main computer monitor for Pro Tools itself rather than metering, absolutely, that's what you can do. To find out more about Decibel, head over to the full article on the Production Expert website.